Hello everyone, so this is a, a, very, a short video about solving the first exercise in Python, so the exercise on uh, detecting outliers in a univariate case. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use Spider and uh, I'm going to code from scratch the first exercise. So this is really for those students that are not very comfortable with uh, Python coding. And so I hope that this will help you. Um, so just to start, as it is here, you have the IDE of Python. And uh, as it is, it's not very friendly. So the first thing that I typically do, I typically have as a backup another Python code. So for instance, here we have, uh, when you look uh, on Blackboard, we have all the replication file of the, of the slides. So this is the document on which I'm going uh, to work with so that I can directly copy and paste many, um, many chunk of codes that are useful for solving the exercise. So for instance, here you have all the different packages that are quite important for this uh, kind of exercises of detecting outliers. So what I'm going to start with, I'm going to just take all these packages and import them by copy and paste in, Pyth uh, in Spider. So that's that. That will be my first um, my first thing. The first thing that I will do. Now, uh, just a very quick um, tip in Spider. If you want, especially if you work in um, in PC, uh, this is not true for Mac. But I think that for Mac, you ha just have to press on Command plus enter. But here, if you want uh, to run a bunch of codes, what you can do is just you have to select the code that you want to run, and then you just have to press F9. So you see here on the command windows on the console, console here, you can see that it has run everything from the start, so everything that I have selected. So right now I have all these packages that have been um, that are that, that that are stored in the memory, and so I can call, for instance, NumPy, or I can call pandas. So that's nice. I can, for instance, load any data, or I can also uh, manipulate some uh, some some values using the NumPy package. So now, when you look at the exercise, what do we have to do? So in this exercise, we have to first generate a lot of data points from a normal distribution. And in particular, we have to generate 500 data points from this normal distribution with a specific expectation and a specific vari uh, variance. And then we have to add five outliers with an expectation of 10 and a variance of one. So at the end of the day, we will have 505 observation. So let's, uh, let's start. What I have to do first, I have to simulate some data. So the first thing is that I know that I will have 505 observation. So that's the, the first thing that I will code. So here I'm just telling that I will have a sample size of n that will be equal to 505 observation. And then I will call my variables. Let's say that I will call uh, draws where um, draws will be an array where I will put all my simulated data in it. So now what I have to do, I have to simulate from a normal distribution. So how can I do that? So for instance, if I don't know exactly how to simulate it, what I can do first, I can just put on in the console np dot random dot and then I will look for um, the normal function to simulate from a normal distribution. As it is here, you see that Spider does not propose me anything, but I can just press on tab and then it will give me a lot of different functions that are available to me. So here, for instance, I can just look for the normal distribution. So you see here, there is the normal, so I can guess that it will be um, random uh, draws from the normal distribution. And you see that there are many more uh, distributions um, in fact, you also have rand n, which is another way to simulate from a normal distribution. Here, I will just choose normal, and then I can just 
uh, type bracket and here you see that spider is proposing me a lot of help because it tells me that the first uh, the first input that is required is the location and if I do not put anything you see that the location is equal to zero. The location here is in fact the expectation this is something that you you can guess as well and then you have the scale the scale is the standard deviation you see that um, the default value is is one so in fact if I just type size and then I fix the size that I want for instance 10 uh, 10 observation, it will simulate 10 observation from a standard normal distribution. So it will simulate 10 observation from a normal distribution with a location, so an expectation equal to zero and a variance, so a scale equal to one. So let's see if it works like this. You see that if I press enter, at the end of the day, I get 10 observation from a normal distribution. And so from what we have seen in class, clearly we see that we do not have a lot of unlikely values because we have everything that is between minus 1.96 and 1.96. So now I will, I'm going to use that function to uh, simulate my 505 observation. And then I will add in that array five outliers. So again, if you remember correctly, so I have np.random.normal and then I have just to fix the location, so the expectation, what is the expectation in the exercise, you can go to the exercise, it is asked uh, to simulate from a normal distribution with an expectation of 2 and a variance of 1. The variance of 1, if I take the square root, then standard deviation is also equal to 1, of course. And so I can directly write the, the value of the expectation, which is 2. It also works like this, if I, if I put lock equal to, and then I can I will fix the standard deviation, and then the number of observation. So you see that above, I have already fixed the, the number of observation, and so I can directly simulate draws, uh, the number of draws that I need uh, from this normal distribution. Of course, if I just run that line, of code, it won't work. Why is it the case? It's because n is not defined. It is defined in my code, but I haven't run that code yet. So this is why it doesn't work. So I have to take all these two lines together to uh, run it by just pressing F9. And so you see that in such a case, it works. So now what you can do, you can add your outliers in this array. So in the question, you have to add five outliers from this normal distribution with a specific expectation here that is equal to 10. And we have exactly the same variance. The variance is equal to 1. So you can put these outliers everywhere in the array. One very simple way to do it is to, to put it at the beginning of the, uh, of the array. And so here, that's what I'm going to do. So you see that again, I am calling the same function random.normal and I am changing here just the expectation. I keep the same variance and I fix the number of observation that is five. So now I can just run that line. And so now if I just look at the first observation, let's say that I'm looking at the first 10 observation, what do I have? I have clearly very different values for the five first observation with respect to the other observation that I have here, which are just realization from this uh, normal distribution with expectation equal to two. So clearly here I have added these outliers. So I, I have just already finished 